This is a 2019 GMC Yukon. This is a special edition AT4. We'd like to thank our friends at Snell Motors in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota for loaning us this unique Yukon AT4 for our review today. Hey folks, I'm Rob and I'm Nathan and we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride and today Nathan tell the folks what we're taking a look at. We are looking at a 2019 GMC Yukon AT4 Special Edition. Yeah, we're going to tell you about that Special Edition and tell you about all the other special features and uh, tech package, everything like yeah. we always do. But if you like, before we do, if you like keeping up with new cars, trucks and SUVs, you like to know about all the technology and you like cool collector car stories, take a minute to hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell notification at the top so you never miss a video. That's right, folks. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's go for, Let's a, go ride. for a ride. So today we are out in a 2019 Yukon AT4. Yes. You did not mishear me. <laughs> this is a 2019 GMC Yukon AT4, which of course technically does not exist, does it, Rob? <laughs> you cannot go and buy one of these off the dealer's lot, as you can't. All right, so this one was special built by our local dealer that we work with, Snell, uh, in Mankato. And uh, the AT4 line will be introduced across, or the trim level will be introduced across the line and for all the 2020 models. But this is a 2019 and the dealership actually built this so you can get it if you go into your dealer and you order one and you add everything to it basically what this was was a yukon with a graphite edition and then they added the at4 trim level as well and uh there's a few additions on the inside with that package and i'll point those out when we uh, do the interior review but i, I can tell you I like the Borla exhaust. <laughs> Boy, can you hear that? This has that nice rumble. Yeah. And it Very has nice. a 6.2 liter V8. Which you could not get on a Yukon unless you got a, a Denali. Right. So that's another special feature about this car. And boy, do I like that engine. I'll let Rob talk about it, but it's a little hard not to, honestly, because it's so much dang fun. Yeah. Um, I tell you, I've been riding this a little bit, and it's quiet. The ride, if you hear that, that, that burly note of the exhaust, and, but it's quiet otherwise. It's, it's, it's very civilized. It's got very nice soft touch features everywhere on the inside here um, packed with technology um, and you can check out our video on the um, Sierra Denali. Uh, Denali 1500 pickup that we did because it has the same thing so there are a few basic differences and I'll I'll point those out when I do the interior review but uh, hang on your seat there we go oh, oh. <laughs> Up to 65 very quickly. This may be another one we never bring back. <laughs> so uh, the the everything the fit and finish here is really nice. Uh, everything is close. Uh, the, you know, no gaps. Um, it's just I, I absolutely love it. It, it. it looks beautiful in here. A lot of black, uh, but just enough accents with a satin chrome kind of a brushed maybe it's a brushed stainless steel look. 
uh, which makes it look really, really, really nice. Th this has that awesome heads-up display, uh, which is multicolored. It's a large screen. You can configure it up, down. You can do a, you can tilt it like this. Uh, just ah, uh, so many absolutely neat things here. But overall, I, I'm, I'm impressed. It, it, it rides nice. It the exhaust sounds great. Um, it, you know, it's just. I know it's very nice. Hang on your seats, Charlie. Oh! No, you can't beat that. That that Borla exhaust is really, really nice. Ooh. It's 6.2 liter V8, naturally aspirated American grunt. That's pretty cool. You know, Rob, I think I'm lost. I just take I, a left I, here. I don't think I can find my way yeah. back to the dealership. <laughs> Well, we'll pull in here quick, and we'll just, just do a little brake test. So, Rob, you ready? Yep. Oh, they're grippy. Yeah, boy. You know, one of the things you could add to this is the Brembo uh, brake package as well, but they did not put that on this particular version. Uh, they'd already put so many different accessories, and of course, you always got to watch the bottom line as well. So. They didn't want to price it too far out of the range. Right. But, uh, you could always add that as well. All right. So, sadly, I must let Rob drive and crawl to the back. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. You know, we've driven some cars over the past few months that had awesome exhaust that you'd expect, both from the Corvette, the Camaro, the Mustang, and a few others. But uh, I wouldn't have expected to have that much fun with this in... Woo! in a Yukon, in a no. large SUV to have that grunt that we're getting out of this. I love it. Like, I'm comfortable uh, back here in the back seats. I love it when they have captain's chairs. I love it that there's nothing in the middle right here as far as like a, a hump or you know some other thing. It's just flat, um, about four to six inches of legroom space, plenty of headroom. No, you've got a. You've actually got a rear entertainment system back here as oh, well. Yeah. That's Blu-ray. Yeah. But well, it is overall a very comfortable ride too. Yeah, and the back seats are comfortable. And you know, it is a larger SUV. It is a large SUV, and it sets up a little bit because it's got a um, a suspension kit on it. But it's still very easy to get in and out of. I'm I'm surprised, and I just love how everything falls to hand. Everything is in the right place that it needs to be to be able to access all your controls and stuff. I like it a lot. Very nice. Very yes. nicely done. Like you said, a lot of soft touch materials. I like the color combination. I like the layout of the dashboard. It's very linear and it's low. So yep. it gives you a nice view out the front window. Well, when they do bring it out next year, that's where it's going to be. It's going to be uh, S -E -S -L or S L E S S L T. AT4 and then Denali, but okay. the cool thing is you got a lot of the bells and the whistles of the Denali But if you want it to be a little more subdued a little bit more of a sleeper You doesn't have all that chrome bling that yeah. the Denali has which is fine But this vehicle in the showroom was sitting beside a Denali and this baby with all its blackout oh. trim Which I'll show you in just a few minutes um, Really just blew that Denali away because it looks awesome. And, and well coming up next will be Rob's review of the exterior, my review of the interior. The GMC Yukon's sleek exterior design and refined details offer distinguished style that creates an unmistakable presence. It offers strong performance that helps you drive with confidence and control. It has a long list of features, an upscale cabin, and a silky ride with an upgraded suspension. This is a 2019 GMC Yukon, and as we said before, it is the AT4. That is a special edition. One of the special things about this vehicle is it is powered by an Ecotec 3. It's a 6.2 liter V8 producing 420 horsepower, 460 foot-pound of torque. It is driven with a 10-speed automatic with overdrive. It does have full-wheel drive. It has an auxiliary external transmission oil cooler and a heavy duty air to oil cooler as well. Has a 170 amp alternator. Now the AT4 conversion includes a cat back Borla exhaust with Borla carbon fiber exhaust tips. 
You all see, also see the gloss black fender fares by EGR. It has front underbody skid plates, has a 200 watt subwoofer kit by Kicker, and it has a rough country leveling kit. You can see too down at the bottom, it does have the red powder coated uh, tow hook covers. There are AT4 badges, 20 inch AT wheels and tires riding on P265, 65, R20 all season black wall tires. Now up front you do have the uh, halogen projector headlamps with IntelliBeam automatic on off. You do have the fog lights with chrome surround, active aero shutters, acoustic laminated glass, rain sensing wipers, and then you also have what I think is really cool. You have the front and rear GMC blacked out labels, and those are pretty awesome looking. Okay, I was mentioning it does have the AT4 badges. You also have outside heated power adjustable folding and driver side auto dimming, body colored with inter integrated turn signal integrators at turn signal indica indicators, easy for me to say, and it does have ground illumination under back. You also have remote keyless entry, black assist steps with gloss black accents. Now the front suspension is coil over shock and stabilizer bar, and out back the rear suspension is multi-link with coil springs. You also have a 3.23 rear axle ratio, and it does have full wheel anti-lock disc brakes. Some of the safety features on this vehicle, you have lane change alert with blind, blind zone alert, uh, lane keeping assist with lane departure warning, low speed forward automatic braking, low tire pressure uh, warning. Uh, it does have magnetic ride control suspension and also has electronic stability control and it has an enhanced driver alert package including a forward collision alert, rear cross traffic alert, and traction control. Going around the back side of the vehicle, we'll take a look at the tailgate area and the cargo area. And again on the back, you see the black GMC and you see the AT4 uh, labels. Now it does have a hands-free power programmable rear lift gate. It has LED tail lights, rear view camera, integrated trailer brake controller as well. Uh, the cargo area length at the floor to the seat, the first seat is 79.9 inches. This is a little low. 79.9 uh, inches cargo area length at the second seat uh, is 43.2 inches and the cargo length area here at the third seat is 11.2 inches. Uh, cargo box area height is 33.94 inches. Maximum payload capacity uh, is 121.7 cubic feet and the ground floor, the floor to the load lift here is 34.91 inches. Okay, this vehicle also uh, does come with the trailering, trailering equipment, heavy duty, uh, which includes the trailering hitch platform, seven wire harness with independent fuse trailering circuits mated to a seven way sealed uh, connector and a two inch trailer uh, receiving, receiver, excuse me, easy for me to say. Fuel economy on this vehicle is 15 city, 22 highway, and 18 combined. And here, this does ride on a wheelbase of 116 inches. Its overall length is 203.9 inches. Its width, without the mirrors, 80.5 inches. Overall height, 74.4 inches, with a ground clearance of 8 inches. Now, gross axle weight rating is 7,300 pounds. Curb weight, 5,743 pounds has a 26 gallon fuel tank, and its max trailering uh, is 8,100 pounds. Does have a turning diameter, turning circle of 39 feet. Comes with a bumper to bumper limited warranty, three years, 36,000 miles, and a drivetrain powertrain warranty of five years, 60,000 miles. Now on the front end, the angle of approach is 15.3 degrees, and the angle of departure is 20.3 nine degrees and we talked about the uh, ground clearance now what those mean is the approach angle means how steep of a ramp a rock or a log the vehicle can meet without scraping the front end and on the back side on the departure angle that's uh, similar to the approach angle except it's related to uh, leaving rather than approaching an obstacle of course in all circumstances a larger degree of angle is better for off-roading 
keeps you out of trouble. The ground clearance, the angles, the bigger they are, the better it is. Talking about styling on the vehicle, I absolutely love what they did. What they started with was a Yukon with the graphite package, and that graphite package gives you the special blacked out trim. And what they found is a lot of folks that like the technology and all the features that's built into the Denali, they don't necessarily like all of the chromed out pieces on the vehicle. So with this, with the graphite, and then adding the AT4 with the Borla exhaust, the badges, a couple other neat things that you got, the subwoofer and others, you get a very, very high-end vehicle, but it's not all chromed out and blinged out like the uh, Denali is. And they found that they've really got a good customer base for this vehicle. It's more of a, a low-key, more of a stealth-looking vehicle by doing that. I do like the uh, the uh, arch arches here that do that are by EGR that do give you a little added protection. And you'll see these inside wheel wells are indeed. Uh, felt line that helps on the sound deadening of the car as well. I like the blackout roof rail, the blackout trim all around, and I really love the mirrors. They look like more something that you'd find on a on a regular passenger car instead of a big giant uh, in-your-face type of a truck mirror, but they really give you a lot of vision out that mirror as well. Uh, so really cool, cool features there. We did talk briefly about the tire and wheel package. I love the design. Uh, You've got the six spoke wheels and you got the uh, P275-60R20 tires. I really do like those. And I like the black gloss trim along the base of the running boards too. All in all, very nice vehicle. Only a couple little chrome pieces here and that's on the badging and on the uh, door lock uh, button on the side of the vehicle. Very nicely done. All right, so Nathan, it's all yours. Why don't you take the folks for a tour on the inside and show them what, how nice this car is. I just kind of stopped when you said it's all yours. I just figured I'd take <laughs> off and uh, maybe never come back again. All right, come on in, folks. Let's take a look at this beautiful truck. All right, so starting on the door here, we've got, I, I really like this design where it does this kind of a swoop down here, but you have your auto up and down windows on all four windows. You've got your power mirror controls along with your power folding mirrors, window lockout down here, uh, and we have got good storage areas down here. You've got another one under here along underneath this piece of trim, and then you have your memory settings, uh, two position memory settings uh, for your seats. And then you have one of the Bose speakers. And as usual, the unlock and lock buttons are up here by the door handle. All right, you've got your power seat controls right down here. And we've got a nicely perforated leather surface here. I'm just going to give you a shot of the whole interior here for a second. And then we'll come back over here. This does have the HUD display, so you've got your uh, control for up and down, you've got your info button, and you got your brightness uh, um, for the HUD display right there. Down here, this is, of course, your dashboard lights and infotainment uh, dimming switch. You've got auto lights, there's your, your fog lamps, then you have uh, two high, auto, auto uh, four high, and four low right here and then this is equipped with the trailering package so your brake controllers are right here moving on up here you've got your foot controls you've got traction control on and off parking sensors on and off and then lane departure warning system on or off and the and then uh yeah on or off it is power tilt and telescope you've got your rear uh, button for your rear window washer down here and control and uh wiper controls Okay, let's, I like these floor mats they've provided. These are uh, front and back. They cover absolutely everything. You can see this pocket right over here. I really like this one uh, where you can store phones and stuff. And it's on both sides of the center council. Hey, so, um, stepping on the inside and uh, I don't know if did you catch the startup or not. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I, a couple of things I, I just really like personally. I like the you know the sort of the green lit on the uh, dashes on the RPM and speedometer, but then it's a blue accent light on the outside of it along with the chrome trim. I just think that looks nice. And then of course this is an all digital uh, driver's cockpit display uh, besides the RPM gauge and the miles per hour. And I, I just I love it. It's so crystal clear. It looks a lot like the Sierra. 
Um, and if you want to see more information on what this can do, look at our video on the CR1500 um, for both this and the infotainment screen, and you'll see it. Um, so uh, this doesn't have anything. There's nothing necessarily unique on the AT4 about the driver's information center. Um, so I'll just point out that you know these buttons will look a little different than the than the Sierras. Uh, they are um, like a soft touch plastic. It does have voice command and then of course your cruise controls over here along with your crash uh, mitigation system here and your heated steering wheel. It has power tilt and telescoping and then it does have like I said the trailing package so you got a tow haul mode and then these are not like for shifting through all your gears this just does like low one low two and low three. Okay uh, over here uh, I love how and this is the same infotainment as as the Sierra but they've done, there's been obviously been some upgrades in the short time since we've done this, this year. Um, they've got uh, big square graphics instead of the, the round ones, uh, which is really nice. I, I love that look. And uh, this does come with navigation and traffic. And of course, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth. And it is the Bose sound system. It's very, very nice. The one thing they did in addition for the AT4 that, that they created there is they added a 200 watt uh, kicker subwoofer, which boy oh boy can you tell when it when it when you turn on the stereo that it's there. Really nice, really sharp. Uh, love it. Okay, down here, of course, the only other thing uh, that would be different from the Sierra is the fact that uh, you can pop the screen up and you have a USB port underneath to charge and you can store your stuff underneath there and then close it, which is nice. So it's a little hidden storage area. Um, and then you have physical controls for your uh, infotainment screen right here. Moving down here, you have dual climate controls uh, and is a auto climate control, dual zone. I like, again, the physical sync button. One of the things I like that they've done on the, on the uh, Yukon here is here's the third row climate control because the third row people actually have their own control. So it's actually, it's a dual zone, tri-zone. What I like is they've separated the controls for the tri-zone from the infotainment screen. So you have physical buttons right here. So it's nice, quick, easy, power on, off, turn it, you know, whatever you want. And then here's even the control button. Do you want people in the rear to control it? Or do you want to lock them out? I like having that physical button. I've seen them before built into the infotainment screen. I think this is much nicer. Hey, this does come with uh, two types of heated seats. You can have the back and bottom both heated or just the back. And then they are cooled seats as well. Since I like you know lights and dials and buttons oh my i like this there's one set of orange leds that's used for everything it's just that you have another led red or blue that shows up to show what's activated and then the orange leds show the level and then of course the passenger side is over here here you have a 12 volt outlet and then here you have dual USB outlets. And these are the ones that will control, help you to hook into Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And then down here you have some storage. I'll move the pen out of the way. It's a nice, really deep storage. You got dual cup holders. Okay, and then if I, uh, right back here again is an area that you can store your smartphone. And it's fairly large. It'll fit a good size uh, smartphone in there. And then we'll just take and open this up for a minute. And again, you've got quite a bit more storage here. So you got an area to store your key fob. You've got pencil holders on either side. You've got some extra storage here. You've got a 12 volt outlet there. You've got dual USBs here, but you do have a 3.5 millimeter jack here as well. All right, let's see. Very deep storage, oh my goodness. Very deep, and, and it's backlit too, it's got a light. All right? Um, let's see, moving up here, you have an auto dimming rear view mirror. You do have uh, LED lights, reading lamps. You do have your three home link buttons here. This is your tailgate control. So if, if in the video you're watching, I, I'm not sure if I showed it, but um, you know, you, you can always set it, and usually we see it in the door. 
here it's located up here so you can set the height of your door opening there okay, so these are your uh, to control your lights in the vehicle like do they come on or off you know when the doors open that kind of stuff okay and then up here are your sunroof controls the shade is a manual control but you you know it'll open with a with a power button if you're just opening it up okay uh, and then other than that, let's step in the back seat and take a look at the back. Because you know, we do have three rows in this one. All right, so starting on the, the second row doors here, very similar design to the front. I like this slope right here. You get this little piece of uh, uh, wood trim, and then you've got your storage right here and down here, along with one of your Bose speakers. Hey, again, you've got these uh, plastic mats that are covering uh, the entire back row uh, for the second row. Not in the middle, but they do cover everything else. You have two seat back pockets, and then up here you have got dual USBs, you've got an HDMI input and a 3.5 millimeter jack, as well as a volume control, all for your DVD screen, which is Blu-ray and up here. And then you have a controller that you can pop out and use. Okay, very, very nice. This, this is the third part of the tri-zone climate control, where second row passengers can adjust their temperature, their fan speed. Uh, they also have heated seats. Now, one of my favorite features probably is the fact that they are captain's chairs. I like the grab handles here. This one does have uh, side steps on there, uh, which, which is really nice. Okay, you can, of course, uh, open, bring the, the handles up or down. And then you can, there's another button on the right or left, sorry, where you can recline your seat at a fairly good level. Okay, I'm going to right back up there. Now, headroom, I got a good, good two inches. Legroom, seat's where I left it. I've got, uh, I don't know, depends on which leg I look at. Probably I've got anywhere from five to, uh, five to seven inches of space, but plenty of room. Okay, um, back here, in the third row, there are a couple of ways to get back here. So let me step out for a second. I would just walk through the middle because it's big and wide. But Okay, so I just take this, put it down, and it comes all the way up. And that's just one lever. You just pull it, and, you pull, and then you pull it a little bit more, and it comes up. So let's see. I do kind of like, I'm, I'm going to guess that this is going to be a, not too bad to get into. Grab the handle. Yeah, that isn't so bad for a third row. Um, I've seen a lot tighter spaces. Okay. So, now, I am uh, in the third row. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little cramped. But remember, I had about four to, four to seven inches, depending on which way I was kind of angled on the seat. So, I think um, we could get a lot more comfortable than where I'm at. Um, if I move the seat farther forward, okay, if I scoot back with my back all the way against the seat I've also gained an inch. All right, so the third row here is slightly raised from the second row So you do have a little bit better view than the second row passengers as far as height goes Okay uh, to my head Close to three inches of space two and a half Okay leg space probably about an inch um, but they are fairly low to the ground. You can see how high up my, my, my back of my leg comes from the seat. So there, there isn't any contact right there. But, you know, it's a typical. I mean, uh, I, I think this would be the kind of seat you would use for uh, small kids. Or um, you're just a very temporary, okay, we got, uh, you know, we got a couple extra people. We can throw them in and, and make the trip uh, for short distances. Certainly not meant for, for long distances. So it is functional and does what it's supposed to do. And then you got dual cup holders. I do like the fact that you have a USB, or a, excuse me, I do like the fact that you have a 12 volt outlet right in the back here. That's really nice. Okay, so then the question is how to get out. And I'll show you how to get out because I found it and it's a way easier way to get in. There's just a button on the, on the left here and it's on both sides. And if I push that and I push it again, it lifts itself up and I don't have to do any work. Then I shall beckon James, the Grey Poupon. So it's a combination, kind of a mid-level between the SLT2 and the Denali. So you get some features of both, uh, but a beautiful vehicle. Absolutely beautiful. 
Okay, now I want to show you my favorite thing on this vehicle, and I've got some pictures in case it doesn't come out very well in this video, but it's got a detail right around the surround. If you look at it from a distance, it kind of resembles like a snake skin or uh, like a carbon fiber look, but that's actually up top here, and this is yet a different design, but it's like a little diamond pattern in there, and that's really cool, and it's a really neat detail, and it's a good thing for attention to detail, and I like that. That's my favorite design design element on this vehicle. All right, so my favorite thing on this vehicle, other than the 84 package on the outside, you know, with the engine and all that kind of stuff, uh, is the way that you control the third part of the tri-zone climate control for the rear. I, I just absolutely love this, having physical controls and um, having physical controls and the digital readout right here. Favorite part. The best part will be trying to send Rob through the glass windshield <laughs> when I do the brake test. I'm thinking 80, 85, and we hit the brakes really hard. Uh, I'm all right with that. What a comfortable way to go. What a comfortable way to go. This is if really you nice. gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> don't worry about me, I don't need a seatbelt. Bad. Oh.